What's going on everyone? Ancap24 here for playbook.gg. In this video, I wanna show you a concept that I've done for three to four years now, uh, utilizing smart routed streaks and how you can get it open versus most coverages. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel and you wanna win more games playing Madden, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to also click that bell icon to make sure you never miss any of our videos. So like I said, guys, I've been using this concept for a while now, and it's something I wanna kinda of show you as far as a simple way of using it and how you can get people open against most of your zone coverages, uh, namely cover two and cover three is what I try to use this against. I'm gonna uh, show this at the trips tight end and PA shot post is gonna be a play I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the most simple form and then I'm gonna show you like why I use PA shot post as a good example because we wanna make sure that we um, can kind of, uh, you know, uh, take the user out of the play. So what we're gonna do here is take a three route combination. We're gonna start off by putting the B on a streak, the Y on an out, and then the X on a streak. So it's gonna look like this. The last thing we're gonna do is put the X on a smart route. And then what I'll usually do is put the A on a streak as well, just to make sure that we get our players to rotate. And what I mean by rotate is I want the um, free safety to rotate to the middle to worry about the A, giving the ability for the cornerback on the left to rotate to have to play the B, leaving the smart route streak alone on the left. Now, basically what you're gonna see is that cornerback will cover the B and we're gonna be able to throw it to this X, usually around the 25 yard line because it does extend farther than the player indicates. So let me just kind of show you what I mean. This is against cover three. And what you're gonna see is that the X is gonna stop. We're gonna be able to throw it to him and catch that ball right about the 30. Now, I wanna make sure that I cover a couple different things here. Let's go ahead and show it to you. The first thing you're gonna notice is that the player on the left here, the cornerback, is going to back up, back up, back up. Number 18 right here is basically somebody that he's playing in between 11 and 18, right? That's his deep third. Once he notices that 11 stops, basically, he's going to have to take the deepest person in his zone, which in this indication is going to be Calvin Ridley, number 18. That's going to drive him back even further. And we're going to get this number 11 here, Julio, basically to stop and act as like a 30-yard type of curl route. Now, I want to make mention here that this guy will sometimes come back like he did here and catch the ball right about the 30. And sometimes he'll go to the middle of the field and it almost acts like an in route, okay? It, he, it's a little bit, you know, questionable what he's going to do. But usually, as long as the, the user's not over there, I've got all the space to throw. I don't care where the ball goes because he's going to catch it no matter what. This time he comes in and he catches the ball. Let me show it to you again. We'll go against cover three, and then I'll show it to you against cover two as well. So here's cover three again. Again, all we're going to do is put this, the tight end on a streak, the B on a streak, the X on a streak, the Y on an out, and smart route the X. So it's going to look like this. Okay, we're going to carry out the fake. Again, we're going to see that the X is going to stop. Once we throw it to him, see how he went to the inside? And now we got the possession, okay? So that time he decided to do the in route. It is a little bit finicky depending on when you throw it, depending on what they do, but those routes are going to be open. I'll show it to you one time against the Tampa 2 because it's going to work basically the same way, as you can see Tampa 2 here. And you're going to see that we're just doing a flood concept really on the left side where we're going to take the Y just to hold down any cloud flats, hard flats, curl flats. The B is going to be the guy that's going to drive back coverage while the X just sits in that zone. We'll put the A on its streak just to make sure that we've got something in the middle of the field. We're going to wait for this X to kind of sit down. Once he sits, we'll throw it to him and get our possession catch right there. Really easy play. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is, okay, we're really not having a whole lot of success as far as um, getting the user to have anyone else to cover. That's why I kind of like this play. Well, because the Y is a really nice route that people are going to have to at least think about covering, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the X and the B on streaks. And I'm going to take the X and put them on the smart route. And now I need a pull route. What I mean by a pull route is I need something to pull coverage down. So I'm going to take the A and put them on a drag. So this way what we're going to do is we're going to get that same success that we were doing before where the B is still going to take somebody down the field. The Y does a good job of taking the coverage to the middle so that he the, the Y actually acts as what the A did earlier. And now the A acts what the Y did by pulling down the route. And the only difference on this route combination is, is now the user has to worry about the Y going across the field, giving us a little bit more room to throw the X. So we'll go ahead, we'll carry out the fake. You can see that the X is going to stop. Once he stops, we'll throw it to him and get the possession catch. So this type of 
um, concept can be used out of a lot of different formations, a lot of different ways. What I would suggest to make sure that you do is you have a four route combination. The first one's gonna be the smart route is streak. We already know that we need that. We need somebody around the numbers to be able to uh, do a streak in order to make sure that we pull that cornerback with us. And then you wanna make sure that you have something underneath and something to take away the the uh, the user as far as his um, you know ability to, to stay over on the left side of the field. So I just wanna make sure that you kind of see this. It is something that um, you know is, is really kind of a cool combination to um, kind of uh, you know get some easy yards uh, once you get it down and uh, really helps you out. I do like to make sure that it's on the left hash mark in this situation where the receivers are on the left. That way you kind of have that opportunity to make sure that um, you know you you basically run off the coverage. So hopefully guys you learned something about smart routed streaks, how you can utilize them in your game just as a concept based. Uh, just gave you kind of one uh, example of that. We appreciate you guys watching this video and we'll catch you on tomorrow's. Now if you like this video, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.